According to legend, St. Francis of Assisi created the first nativity scene in 1223, using animals for his tableau. Have you ever wondered how the patron saint of animals might have staged it had he been a lab technician and not the son of a wealthy Italian silk merchant? Well, we have. Please meet Philip the Chameleon, Spud and Duane, the Argentinian bullfrogs, but they'll answer to South American horn toads, Beryl the stick insect, Truffles the African pygmy hedgehog, Boris the scorpion, Sid the Mexican red rump tarantula, Seb the gecko, and finally Dyson the carpet python. Here are some seasonal experiments from the chemistry and physics labs. This one is known as elephant toothpaste and reminds us of snow. And while we're staging special effects of the cold outside, we can grow an icicle in a petri dish. Well, almost. It's actually a stalagmite. Let's come in from the cold and see what there is to eat. Christmas puddings. Mmm. We got a little bored with the blue flame of brandy alight, so we thought we'd spice the flames up a little bit. I strongly advise not doing this at home on Christmas Day. And if you forgot to take your puddings off the hob, I hope you don't have to contend with this. I'm afraid we don't have any mince pies for you. It looks as if Dr. French has eaten them all. But here's an after-dinner entertainment you can perform with the empty cases. Don't forget to ask Father Christmas to leave a Van de Graaff generator in your stocking. When Christmas dinner is over, but before you put your feet up, be sure not to ignite that nearly empty bottle of brandy. This might happen. And finally, why not sit back, relax, and play some music to your gas fire? That's it for this year from Science School. Everyone here wishes you a very happy Christmas. Oh, what's fun it is to ride in a bumble so